Welcome back. Here, we will be looking into conditional and unconditional control structures, and iterations, or looping structures. This is what we will be covering in this chapter. Let's first have a brief intro. When writing program code, the program control flow of instructions need not always be in a linear order, that is, from the first statement, to the last statement. Most of the times, you need to take decisions from a number of available options. So, you need to shift control from one part of the program to another. Most of the times, you also need to repeat the execution of some areas of the program code for managing recurring tasks. C++ provides conditional and unconditional control statements, which determines the selection of available options that need to be executed. C++ also provides looping control statements, which determines the number of times an activity, or a set of program statements, is to be repeatedly executed. Statements used in the control structures and loops can either be a simple statement, that is one line instructions, or compound statement, that is, multiple line instructions, grouped as blocks, enclosed within curly braces. Let's learn the different conditional control structures. Conditional structure statements, or the selection construct, is used when a specific task has to be executed for a specific condition. The condition is checked by expressions, using comparison operators like the equality operator, not equal to, less than, greater than, etc. For example, if A is greater than B, do something. There are three types of conditional statements. Number one, if statement, and if else statement. Number two, switch statement. And number three, ternary operator, which we had already covered in the earlier chapter. Let's look into the first one, the if statement, and the if else statement. If statement is a one condition, one solution statement that checks if a condition is true, then provides a solution. The syntax is if condition statement. It simply means, if the condition is true, statement is executed, else program control shifts to next line of code after the statement. Here is an example. If x is equal to 100, c out, it is a century. For an if condition with multiple statements, use the curly braces. Look at this if statement. Here, when the if condition is satisfied, there are two c out statements. So we put them within curly braces. The if else statement is a one condition, two solution statement that is used to check if a condition is true or false and then provides two solutions. One, if the condition is true, and the other, if the condition is false. Syntax is if condition, statement one, else, statement two. If condition is true, go to statement one. Else, go to statement two. This is an example where we have one condition, that is, if x is less than 50, then c out failed. Else, c out, passed. So here, we have one condition, and two solutions. The if else, nested statement, has many conditions, and many solutions. It is used to check more than one condition, and provides multiple solutions for the different conditions. An if condition within another if condition in a progressive sequence is called the nested if structure. Syntax is, if condition 1 is satisfied, then, if condition 2 is satisfied, execute the statement 1. Else execute statement 2. If condition 1 is not satisfied, then, if condition 3 is satisfied, execute statement 3. Else execute statement 4. Now let's look at an example for a nested if condition with one statement solution. Here it says, if x is greater than zero, then print or c out, x is positive. Else, if x is less than zero, c out, x is negative. Else, c out x is zero. These are one line statements. In this next example, we take a look at the nested if condition with multiple statement solutions. Note that for the condition, if x greater than zero, there are two c-out statements that will be executed. Similarly, there are two print statements for the condition, if x less than zero. We will now write program 14 to find the biggest among three numbers. 
Here is the program code. I have saved it as 14.cpp. On line 5, I have declared three integer variables, a, b, and c. So we have here, these memory spaces allocated. On line 6 and 7 are the input-output streams. The user is prompted to enter three numbers. I enter 45. It's copied to memory location A. I then type in 99. It's stored in B. Then 12. It gets stored in C. OK. So now, we are entering the if block. It's from line 8 to line 17. The program control is now on line 8. It checks if A is greater than B. Let's look at the memory. No. A is not greater than B. Hence next, the control shifts to else part of the if statement. It has another if statement. What does it say? It is asking to check if B is greater than C. What's in the memory? B is 99 and C 12. So yes, B is greater than C. This takes the control to this line and it prints biggest is B or 99. 